Hi, welcome to the full stack development with Angular 8 and Spring Boot. In this video, we are going to set up the development environment. Let's begin. I will not go through the entire process of installing all the tools because that will take a lot of time. And moreover, I have already installed all the tools on my machine, so I cannot uninstall and install it again. And the installation is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is just follow the instructions. So if you have experience with installing a software, then these softwares will be very easy to install. So the first software that we're going to install is the Eclipse IDE. We're going to install the Eclipse Oxygen. So I'll drop a link in the description section of this video for all the tools. So go to the respective website to download the Eclipse IDE. Click on the download option that will download the Eclipse IDE. I will not going to download this because I have already downloaded and installed on my machine. So once you have done with the Eclipse ID, then go to the next tool, which is Visual Studio Code. Uh, this is help us to uh, develop the Angular application. So you can use any other text editors like Autumn or Sublime Text, but I will be using Visual Studio Code throughout this video course. By far, this is one of the most popular text editor for developing the Angular applications. Okay, go to the respective website and click on the download for Windows option that will download the Visual Studio code. So once you have installed Visual Studio code, then go to the next tool, which is a MySQL server. Go to the respective website and click on the MSI installer, click on the download option that will download the MySQL server. Once you have uh, downloaded the MySQL server, then install it just like any other software while installing it will ask you to connect to your internet because it will download few other tools and once you have done with the installation at the inst installation time it will ask you to enter the password for the root user make sure to enter the password and note down the password because we are going to use that password later to connect the mysql server so once you are done with the mysql server installation then go to the next tool which is a MySQL workbench. The MySQL workbench will help us to connect to a MySQL server. Okay, so again, select the MSI installer and select the download option that will download the MySQL workbench. So install the MySQL workbench just like any other software. And uh, once you have installed, just open the MySQL workbench and you have to add a connection. Okay, so I have already added the connection so if you haven't added or like if it is if you are a new user then you have to select this plus icon and enter the connection name you can give any name you want and make sure to uh, leave it blank or leave the values as it is and enter the password this is the password you have entered at the time of installation enter the password and click ok and click select the test connection that will prompt the connection successful option and click OK. So now you will see the connection. OK, so once you have done this, then go to the next tool, which is Node.js. So for the Angular development, we need to install Node.js. OK, there is a dependency for the Angular application. You must install the Node.js. Okay, so the latest version is 13.7.0, but that is in a that is not a stable version. The stable version is 12.14.1 at this time of recording. So download this. Once you have downloaded the Node.js, install it. The installation is pretty straightforward. Once you have installed the Node.js, and uh, make sure to verify whether the installation is done or not. Open the command prompt and check for the Node version. Enter Node minus V and hit enter that will gives the node version uh, I have installed 10.16.3 you might have installed a different version and enter npm minus V this is a node package manager so mine is 6.9.0 you might you yours is might be different so once you have done this you have to install angular cli globally on your machine so go to the website which is angular.io and uh, there is a step called install angular cli so copy the command and open the command prompt
and hit enter this will install the angular cli globally on your machine i will not going to install this because i have already installed it once you have installed the angular cli uh, check whether the angular cli is installed properly or not ng minus minus version hit enter this will uh, shows the angular cli i have installed the angular cli which is 8.3.19 so yours is might be different but as long as you have seen the angular cli and these uh, data then you have installed angular cli properly on your machine so once this is done now we have to download a starter files to start up the uh, angular to start up the spring boot application so make sure to go to this website or this link the link will be given in the description section and click on this download option and once you have download the zip file just extract this and this will gives us the starter files okay so we are going to use these starter files in the next video so that's that's it for this video thank you so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel for more videos and uh, that's it for this video i will see you in the next video